четвертый международный фестиваль экспериментального видео «Ошибка процесса» с 25 по 29 апреля 2017 года в Альпараисо, Чили. My background is in film production, so I made uh, so I, all my studies I, uh, were in cinema. So uh, it's it's it took a long time before I realized that I was not really interested in fiction and not interested in working with film uh, in, in in terms of uh, medium. So really, it was during my MFA, Master in Fine Arts in Cinema, that I discovered. Um, or if you want, I realize that I'm more comfortable with video. And that's really, uh, let's say 2008, that like there was a, a, an important moment in my life where I was like, you know what, I like to work with video. And so I, I really dig more uh, that medium. Um, it is true that using older technology um, evoke another time because we all our generation all, we grew up with television with MTV or publicity that used kind of video effects and so it's very connotated culturally and I am interested in playing with those codes in the sense that um, I don't want to do something nostalgic. That's why I mix older technologies with contemporary technology in order to create a new kind of aesthetic. It's more about something that is not in time. You're not sure if it's in the future, you're not sure if it's in the past. Uh, I want to have an ambiguous um, time, a timeless aesthetic. That's at least, that's my goal. Um, architecture is a very important source of inspiration for me. Um, as when I travel, even in my own city, I always am aware of my surroundings, of the buildings. I walk in the street. I'm, this is I'm fascinated by um, architecture, and I also think that uh, we project a lot. In architecture. We would love a space because we have experienced something in it. It's very subjective and the idea of um, the biological you know mixing with our architecture and, and, and technology it's always been an inspiration as well like I'm a big fan of Cronenberg and science fiction in general so um, more and more I'm interested in, in digging into how you know we experience architecture and how um, it reflects our own human nature and I think that in some ways um, uh, it's kind of a metaphor or a way to to illustrate this idea that the human body is part of this, of its environment here I'm going a bit too far <laughs> Um, I'm both motivated by commission work, by commissions, and by a personal impulse. I think I need both, actually. Like right now, I work. Uh, I'm in a residency in Paris. I have all the time in the world to develop my ideas, my concept, to be creative, and it's wonderful because I explore different techniques. I go really further with a lot of ideas, but the fact that I don't have a specific deadline uh, puts me in the situation where I can explore forever, ever, ever, you know. So when I have a, a commission or someone who asks me for a piece, this gives me that maybe extra per pressure of finishing a work.
the, I would say the rewards of making my work mm -hmm. is to come to festival like this one, <laughs> to be invited in all over the world mm -hmm. to show my work. Mm -hmm. It's the greatest honor ever. Mm -hmm. uh, this means I'm doing something that touch some people mm -hmm. enough to mm -hmm. make me come in their own city. So. To me, to make um, the work I do, it is political. But it's not political in the sense of um, making a political statement inside of the video itself. It's more the action of making this kind of video that is political. Because I believe that first, everything is political, the, every decision we do is political. So if you decide, you know, this is what I like to do, and you know what? I cannot sell this, it's not a commodity, uh, it's never going to be a, you know, a success like a, you know, a Hollywood movie, but this is what I like to do and, 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 and I do it, just do it, you know, and this to me is a very, uh, it's a political statement, it's just saying, stop thinking about, I have to fit in some ways in, you know, my parents told me to do, or the society tells me to do, or in, and more like, what are you interested in, and, and go deep there. That's really, I believe in there, and to me that's political. I was really uh, touched by how uh, the people in the workshop were so curious, so interested, very involved, open-minded and uh, really willing to learn. And I also uh, didn't know that there were so many artists here, like so many creative people, like there's a lot of people who are really, really creative. So this was a really... Uh, beautiful surprise for me um, and also strangely maybe it's strange to say but because Chile is so far from my house from my home I think it's really amazing to see how you know close-minded I feel with everybody here everybody is really really nice and like uh, we're in the same spirit we're not very even though we're far away geographically it's like I feel like it's really close uh, in the sensibility. So uh, to do workshop like I did to me it's like a honor first and it's also um, um, a great opportunity to get to know people more closely, another culture and, um, and yeah. Um. Mistake I think is the first um, uh, step to creativity. Like when I started to work with video, um, uh, glitches happen, unpredictable results happen, and you're like, this is wonderful, I keep this. So it's, um, it's, something, I'm, it's something that I'm looking for when I create. So it's uh, to be surprised by my medium to be surprised by the process. And that's why I mix a lot of different techniques in order to create unexpected results, which could be seen as a mistake or simply as a beautiful uh, coincidence that, you know, result in beauty. Something like that. Must have been.